So Guinness Six Nations has finally come to a close and I'm thrilled to say we're joined by one of the stars of the tournament is Lewis Rees, damn it. Um, how are you mate? Are you, are you all good? Yeah, all good mate. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, bonkers, bonkers Six Nations. I mean, you played your final game but had to wait six days to find out whether you became champions or not. Um, were you able to watch France against Scotland at all? Uh, yeah, I actually was. Um, obviously I had a game in, in the afternoon but um, my, my dad took me to the game, so on the way home I was, uh, I was on personal hotspot on my iPad um, <laughs> watching the game and then watched the last 10 minutes at home. And what was the, what was the emotion going through, going through your head, oh. going through you in that last 10 minutes? I was even nervous in the AC second minute when they, <laughs> they, they were guaranteed to win. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was a horrible feeling, but um, yeah, I'm thoroughly delighted. And for you, I mean... You got you got exposed onto the international scene back in November. Yeah, it, it all must still feel a bit like a dream for you. Tell us, yeah. what's going through your mind? You look like you're just loving your rugby. I am. I'm actually left my rugby at the moment. Um, I'm playing decently, I guess. <laughs> um, it's so, obviously been a bit of a, a bit of a jump um, up to international rugby, but yeah, I'm I'm currently riding the wave. Yeah, you, you certainly are, and you say you're enjoying your rugby. You, you play the game with a smile on your face, and uh, how can you not? I mean, what's been your personal highlight beyond just winning the Six Nations at your first go? Yeah, um, yeah, I just love being in camp. Um, I've settled in really well with the boys, and uh, obviously, when you start to win a couple of games, it's a bit of momentum, and everyone's starting to love training, starting to love the environment, and uh, you obviously play a lot better like that. Yeah, I spoke to Callum Sheedy just a few weeks ago after Wales v England game when he made that intercept and I just gave him a little bit of advice. I mean, I'm retired and away from the game now, but if you've got the fastest man on, like two metres away from you, pass through <laughs> the ball rather than fly it up it, because that would have been another try for you, eh? Yeah, well, I had a word with him after the game, but um, watching it back, I think it, it was probably the right decision. I just, uh, I just messed up the banks of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I mean, you're a Man United fan, and I thought with your touch, I mean, you're a brilliant rugby player, but your touch looked very reminiscent of how Man United are playing at the moment. Uh, yes, I agree. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right. Well, like I said, you're brand new to the international scene. I want you to pick your perfect player. So we're going to go through different categories. The first category is strength. I mean, we we're hoping that you're going to be able to select people that you've either played with or against to be able to fulfil each of those <clears throat> criteria. So starting with strength, who are you putting in that category? Strength, like a, well, I'd have to put a forward, um, a back rower probably. Uh, Falatau maybe? Falatau. He is an absolute beast. <laughs> he is a beast. You I mean, with... I, would, I wouldn't want him running at me on, on the edge. No, no, he, he's unbelievable, isn't he? He's got so much footwork. I know it's about strength, but it's footwork as well. <laughs> crazy. Oh, the only other person I could think of was Jake Pelletri as well at Gloucester. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I actually completely forgot that joke. He's, <laughs> he is outrageous. <laughs> Fair play, but we'll stick with uh, Tolubo Valentine. That's a decent yeah. pick. Um, for speed, I mean, you're known for your speed. You can select yourself, but if you had to pick someone else, who, who, who would it be? Speed. Um, I mean... Brian Habana's definitely up there. Um, yeah, I yeah, it's got to be Brian Habana. If you can beat a cheater in a race, and I'm I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's probably the fastest player. <laughs> I think that was fair. Uh, passing. This is a good one. Passing. Uh, Aaron Smith. Mate. Best passer in the world. Crazy. Yeah, he is ridiculous. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he's still doing it. I mean, you're in your first year of international rugby. He's, I don't know, was it, I mean, he's 10 plus years at the yeah. top and still able I just to deliver. There's not many people in comparison to him, is there? Um, you never see the ball on the ground when he passes it. <laughs> no, that's very true. What about skills? Just sheer brilliant skills. Um, Finn Russell, he, Magic Man. That that um, that try in the was it in the cup last year? 
when he put it through the guy's legs. Well, he put it through Rory. <laughs> he, he's nutmeg Rory Scannell at Fernie <laughs> Park. I mean, that was, that was mental. If if there's a moment where you don't want fans to be in a crowd, it's probably that moment. Do you mean yeah. next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tell you what, touching on Finn, as a winger, having to defend someone like him who's so unpredictable, yes. how difficult does it make your job? Oh, it's horrible. But in the reverse, if you're playing with him, it must be, oh, you get the ball at least at least 10 times a game with him. Yeah, uh, exactly. yeah I'd absolutely, yeah, it'd be amazing to play, <laughs> probably play with him. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Um, how about for banter? Banter? Dan Bigger? Oh, okay, because I guess his persona on the pitch, I mean, he's a test match warrior, so oh. driven, finger on the pulse, but he's one of the funniest off blokes the, to do. Off the field, he is a top bloke. Brilliant. He's got he's got a good banter. Um, there are a lot of players in Wales who like to joke around. Um, but yeah, Dan Bigger's probably a big joker. <laughs> Okay, fair play. I love that. Um, kicking. Kicking. Can we pass down present players? Yeah, whoever you want. You can do what you want, Lewis, mate. You're Guinness Six Nations champion, mate. You're smashing it. Pick um, football if you want. <laughs> um, out of hand, probably Stuart Hogg. That oh. is spirals. <laughs> I don't want to play against him when he's putting those spirals in. Um, crazy. And then probably off a tee from like Dan Carter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two absolute legends. Yeah. Fitness. Who's the fittest bloke? Fit. Just someone who's just at it. 80 minutes. Output from minute one to 81 is just there. Right, I got two. Alan Wynne Jones. Yeah. Machine. And Lewis Ludlow. Yes, okay. Lewis Ludlow. Yes, he's he is very underrated and he will not stop running for a full 80, 90 minutes. However long the game lasts, he is everywhere. I remember a tackle he made in the Challenge Cup final out in Yeah against Gareth Anscombe in like the seventy seventh minute. I thought he I mean oh. he, he folds him up like a warm tool Hey, he does it does it every week. He literally does it every week. You'll be in that kick chase, and you—if that ball's man and ball, he is there. He's and it, it, won't, it will be a very painful one as well. Yeah, I reckon so. Um, the last one, I think I know who you're gonna say. It's leadership. Leadership. Well, I mean, I've Alan Wynne Jones. <laughs> um, or again. This year, Lewis Ludlow has been a great leader as well. So, both of my teammates this year, um, brilliant leaders. Well, g- give us an insight to Alan Wynne Jones. You know, he's um, he he doesn't waste many words, does he? But when he no. does, he, he's very impactful. What's he been like for you over the last couple of months? Over the last six months, I guess. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's very helpful. He's always like always asking if I if I need to know anything or if I need help or anything like that, and then. Obviously, on game days, he turns into a machine. <laughs> um, in the team talks, he's, he never says a word wrong. He's just a yeah, he's a top bloke, and um, I'm not surprised he's been in the game for so long and been a leader for so long as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, no one, everyone knows that there isn't such thing as a perfect player. But if there was, who's who's the player that's come closest to being that perfect player that you played with? against past or present? Well, I'd probably say my idol because that's who I've always wanted to be. And obviously Shane Williams is is my idol and I don't think I could say anyone else. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to say. Um, Unless so you want me to say you, I mean. <laughs> you definitely can't say me. I'll tell you what, your Twitter feed will be popping off, mate. So <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not say me. Shane's a proper legend. I mean, World Player of the Year in 2008. Uh, ridiculous player. And I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad he's your idol because I can only imagine Shane Williams over the last six months just watching your development and actually just being really proud. I don't, yeah. I don't imagine he's really proud of seeing your development. Yeah, been, he, he messages me good luck and well done. And obviously, I take that 
straight to my heart basically <laughs> as as someone's idol you never expect to, to meet them or speak to them and never mind get a message off them yeah fair play on that note you know you've done some remarkable things over the last six months or so and long may that continue who's the coolest person that has messaged you good luck or well done or anything like that the coolest person yeah just mate, just drop a few names it's fine let me, let me just get on my Instagram, sir. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> if you tell me someone like LeBron James has messaged you, then oh. I mean, this Zoom's over. Like, a week yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't had someone that, uh, that famous, I think. Um, I honestly... I, I'd probably have to say Shane. I probably would. Um, apart from, like, my, my teammates. <laughs> Um, he, yeah, he's my idol and he, I'd say he's the biggest person that has messaged me. I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, Lewis, it's been so good chatting to you. Uh, congratulations for everything that you've achieved and all the very best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. See you soon.